dear students today we are passing on to exercise 1.2 to do question of questions of exercise 1.2 we should know what we did the theory part in this first we did dpt basic proportionality theorem that is if a line is drawn parallel to one side we consider like this If a line is drawn parallel to one side, intersecting the other two sides, is divided triangle ABC. These points are x and y. These points of intersection of the line with the sides AB and BC are x and y. Then DPT says that AX upon XB equal to AY upon YC. This is BPT. Line is drawn parallel to one side, intersecting other two sides in two distinct points. Then the other sides are divided in the same ratio by it. That is BPT. Second one, what we did is property of angle bisector. Suppose this is triangle ABC, and this is AS. Angle bisector of angle BAC. Then property of angle bisector says what? AB upon AC. AB upon AC is equal to BS upon CS. BS upon CS. Or SC. This is angle bisector property. The third point what we were supposed to discuss means suppose three lines are parallel. And the transversal here, another transversal here. Suppose the lines are L M N, L M N, and these points we consider A, B, C. These lines are parallel. Another transversal here we have. Suppose we consider this is P and that is Q. And the points here P, Q, R. This is three parallel lines. These are transversals. So this is called intercepts made by three parallel lines. Intercepts three parallel lines. Intercepts made on transversal A, B, B, C. Here P, Q, Q, R. So the third one says what? A, B upon B, C. Is equal to PQ upon QR. These are the three points what you have to remember. The first one is here. BPT. The second one is angle bisector here. This one. The third one is intercepts made by three parallel lines that is here. These are the three points we are to use in practice set 1.2. Only these three points we are to remember. Okay. Here question number one. The question says here there is a triangle. Triangle is PQR. Here P, Q, R. The angle bisector is P, M. Given PQ is 7, PR is 3, and QM is 3.5, and here RM is 1.5. What is the question? Given below are some triangles and lengths of line segments identifying in which figure ray PM is bisector of angle PQPR, QPR, whether this is bisector 
this segment for a PM is bisector of this angle or not, we have to find out. We take this, this part. We take the sides. PQ upon PR. PQ is 7 given. PR is given 3. We call this is equation 1. Here there is no simplification, no cancellation. Now here, PQ upon PR. Therefore, QM upon MR we try. QM upon MR. QM is how much? 3.5 on that is this MR is 1.5. We multiply by 10 to remove the decimals. Otherwise, you multiply here by 2. So, this is 3.5 into 2 upon 1.5 into 2. 3.5 into 2 is 7. 35 2s are 70 and 1 decimal. That is 7. 15 2s are 30, 1 decimal 3. This we consider second equation. Now see the right hand side 7 upon 3. Here also. These are equal. Therefore from 1 and 2. First result. And second result. What we get? These right hand sides are equal. Therefore, this ratio sides PQ upon PR is equal to QM upon MR. This is BPT. Therefore, from here, we come to this. Therefore, Ray PM is angle bisector of angle QPR. That's all. What we did here? We are checking these two sides. QP upon PR is equal to QM upon MR. It is satisfied. Therefore, this is angle bisector. Please do practice. It is very easy. Now we do the next question, the third one. I do alternate one. The third one is like this. The diagram shows. This is Main question one, main question one, sub question one. This is main question one, sub question number three. Main question one only, sub question number three. The second one you please do as homework. You are not getting practice question like that. You are not getting. Then make a note and ask me. We will do it. Now this is PQR triangle P Q R. Here it is given. This much EM given reading such at 10, 9, PR is 10, PQ is 9, and RM is 4, RM is 4, and QM is 3.6. 3.6. Here also we check sides of the triangle, ratio of the sides of the triangle, PR upon PQ, PR upon PQ is equal to 10 upon 9, we call this is equal to 1, now see PR upon PQ, so M set R means from here we have to start, RM upon MQ, RM upon MQ, RM is 4, upon MQ is 3.6. This we make into 4 upon, this we multiply by 10, both numerator and denominator. 4 tens are 40 upon 3.6 into 10, 36. 
Now common factors are there. Here yeah, 9 fours here, yeah, 10 fours, meaning 10 upon 9, that is the second result. See the first and second 10 by 9, second also 10 by 9. These are equal. This is Rm upon M cube. Therefore, from first and second, from 1 and 2, what are you getting? Right hand sets are equal. The therefore left hand sets are equal. This is PR. PR upon PQ. PR upon PQ is equal to RM upon MQ. This is BPT now proved. BPT is application, not BPT, BPT, BPT is application. Angle bisector property is proved. Therefore, pre PM is is angle bisector. Of angle QPR. That is a second first question, third sub question. This is three given questions, two we worked on. The third one you please practice. Not getting, we can discuss. Now we do question number two. Now we do even questions. Question number two. Here there is a triangle given. PQR triangle P. Q R. Here it is the point M N. Question C is what? In triangle P P Q R, P M is 15. P M is 15. P Q is 25. P Q together 25. Along with this, so this is 15. So this is 10. Because total 25. After 25, this 15 is removed, removed means this is N. That is PQ equal to PM plus MQ. That is equal to PQ 25 given. PM is 15 plus MQ. 25 minus 15 is equal to MQ. Therefore, MQ is equal to 25 minus 15, 10. Like that, we put this is 10. Now, the other one. PR is 20. PR is 20. PR is equal to PN plus NR. PN plus PN plus NR is equal to PR. But PR is given 20. This is 120 equal to Pn. That's not given. Nr is given. So Pn plus Nr is given 8. Therefore 20 plus 8 comes this side. Minus 8 equal to Pn. 20 minus 8 is 12. It's equal to Pn. Therefore Pn is 12. That is here. Nr is 8 given. And this is 2. Now we consider this part Pn upon Nr. We have to show that state with question says this way state whether the line Nm is parallel to side RQ. Nm is parallel or not to side RQ. That is a question. We go for PPT. Pn upon Nr equal to 12 by 8, which is equal to how much? 
three fours and two fours. Here three fours, two fours, three by two. We call this is equation one. Also from the other side, PM. We can say here PN, you know. So PR, sorry, PM upon M Q. PM is fifteen. M Q is ten. Here three fives and two fives, two fives and three fives, three by two. That is equation number two. So from these one and two, we get in the right hand side three by twos. Now from equation one and two, what we get? These two are equal. So these two ratios are equal. Pn upon nr equal to Pm upon Mq. What do you mean? Pn upon nr is equal to Pm upon Mq. Pn upon nr equal to Pm upon Mq. This is satisfied. Therefore, what segment N M is parallel to side. R Q by B P T basic proportionality term. If we can stop question number two. Here, what you are doing? The lengths are given. Therefore, the smaller lengths we find out here M Q and here P N from the total lengths. Then we see P N upon N R equal to P M upon N M Q. If the ratios are equal. Then the line is parallel. Converse of BPT. Ratios are equal. The lines are parallel. By converse of BPT. That's the reason. Ratios are equal means the line is parallel. The line is parallel to this. Question number two. Now we do question number four. Question number four. Here we start. The triangle is ABC. If this angle is sixty degree, here also sixty degree. Question is what? Measures of some angles in the figure are given. Prove that. We have to prove what you have to prove. AP upon PB equal to AQ upon QC. You are having the textbook. The question is ready with you, so you can refer to the question exactly. Now we solve it. <clears throat> so proof. In triangle APQ, and triangle ABC, we talk about these angles. Angle APQ. We put a 60 degree angle ABC so also 60 degree that these angles are equal therefore angle APQ is congruent to angle ABC this is first part now. This angle is common. Angle PEQ is congruent to angle BEC. That is BEC. Therefore, if we tell BEC that one, these angles are congruent. We are getting reason we can give here corresponding angles.
these angles are congruent by corresponding angle test. Actually, we need not say this angle is common, the triangles are similar, like we need not say, we can say this line is parallel. Therefore, AP upon PB, this statement is not required. Therefore, AP, AP upon PB equal to AQ upon QC. We have to prove that only, no? Yet this one we are saying, if at all corresponding angles are congruent, segment PQ is parallel to, we can say, side BC. This is parallel to this because corresponding angle test. If this side is parallel to BC, then AP upon PB equal to AQ upon QC. That's a proof. This is by BPT. The line is parallel, therefore ratio is equal. Now here say by basic proportionality theorem. Basic proportionality theorem. The line is parallel to the side. Therefore, the ratios are equal. AP upon PB equal to AQ upon QC. This is question number four. Okay. Now we start question number six. But you please practice it. After practicing also you have difficulties. You can, we can discuss again. Now question number six. Question number six here. There's a triangle. This is an angle bisector. This is M and P. Triangle M N P. Here it is Q. Given sides here 40. Given these two angles are congruent, that is NQ is a bisector of angle. This M and P. 25, 40. Here it is 14. And this part PQ, QP, we have to find out this only. That part is not given. Now here, let us consider the figure. Let us consider the figure. Here, we consider sides. The sides we take NP upon NM. NP upon NM equal to 40 upon 25. Here 8 fives are there. Here 5 fives are there. 8 fives, 5 fives. NP upon N, NP upon NM. We got this is result one we consider. The NP upon NM. So NP N set here. So PQ upon QM. This QP only upon NM. Actually here given this is angle bisector. given NQ is bisector of angle M and P or P and M. So that size we are given. We start like the sims. NQ is bisector 
of angle pn pn m first ratio equal to second ratio like np upon nm equal to pq upon qm therefore np is what this already we calculated the ratio this ratio is 8 upon 5 equal to qp upon 14 therefore we multiply this cross multiplying this 14 to the other side we get qp now here no simplification we don't have any translation therefore QP equal to multiply and divide by the heavy pencil pi ones. Okay, one pi here, one pi remainder three in thirty six pies. One point six into fourteen. Now six four six are twenty four remainder two. Here yeah, four into one four plus six ten. Yeah, 4, 6, 24, remainder 2 is there. Now 4 plus 6, 10, plus 2, 12, remainder 1. Now 1 into 1, 1 plus 1, 2. And 1 decimal. This QP is 12.6. Therefore, QP equal to, sorry, 22.4. This is the answer. This part is C40. So obviously this part is here it is 40 means this part will be greater because it's 25 smaller, 14. It is 40 proportionately. Here it's also greater, 22.4. This is question number 6. Strictly speaking, from here to here, you can avoid, you can directly put here. It's a bisector. NQ is a bisector. Therefore, NP upon NM is equal to PQ upon QM. Then cross multiply also we can make it. Meaning, if a tula care enough, you can leave this much. One, two, three steps you can avoid. If you are directly starting here also, you can do it. Easily you can do it. This is question number six. Now we do question number eight. Here in the question, it is given there is a triangle this is element here this is the angle bisector this is T These angles are equal. It is 10. This part is 8. Here it is 6. This part should be what? That's a question. We have to find LT. Again, property of angle by sector. Let us consider the figure. Given three empty by six, three empty by six angle element. Therefore, what happens? This is a bisector. Therefore, go for the ratios. L M upon this M N. Start from here. ML upon MN. This is what ML in us. So LT upon PN. We are getting the sides. We can directly use bisector, property of angle bisector. We can write. Therefore, ML is how much? 6 upon MN is 
then equal to lt we have to find out upon this tn is 8 6 upon 10 into 8 is equal to lt we simplify here by multiplication but here decimal 10 10 is here in the denominator we multiply and put a decimal that is easier like 8 6 are 48 upon 10 is lt divide by 10 means put a decimal from here shift to left side from here to here 4.8 is lt therefore lt is equal to 4.8 that's answer that's a solution this is question by a very easy angle by set property now we do question number 10 Now what they are saying, first I draw the triangle. There is a point in the interior of the triangle. This is X. Now the points are there P, Q, Q, P, Q. This Q, this P, and this point is R. Now we have to prove that PR is parallel to the total line is DEF. D E F. What you have to prove? Prove that PR is PR is parallel to DF. The textbook it is given DE that is wrong. PR is parallel to DF. Now prove a part here. Prove. Let us consider. Let us consider the figure. Here, given PQ parallel to D, segment PQ parallel to side DE, PQ parallel to DE. Therefore, we can write here XP upon PD. Therefore, start from the vertex here, xp upon pd equal to xq upon qe. We call this as equation 1, result 1. Now, also given segment qr parallel to side EF. This is given. Here also this is also given. If at all Q of Q R is parallel to D F, E E F and X Q. Always we write that sign. X R upon R F xr upon rf is equal to xq upon qe xq upon qe this we consider second step how we are getting it it is by ppt that is given therefore this one getting by ppt here also by ppt Therefore, now see from percent second right hand side is xq upon qe. Here also xq upon qe. Both are one and the same. And that is equal to xp 
upon T D is equal to the same thing equal to yeah, X R upon R F. This is from first result and second result. From first and second we are getting the connective one is X K upon Q E equal to something here also. So these things are equal. Therefore, what are you getting? XP, XP upon TD equal to XR upon RF. That is here. XP upon TD equal to XR upon RF. It means PR is parallel to F. Therefore, second PR is parallel to segment PR. PR parallel to DF. This will be to prove also PR parallel to DF. And this ratio are equal means what is reason we can see? Converse of BPT. Converse of basic proportional theorem. That is question number 10. Now that exercise gets over. Even questions completed. Now there are other odd questions like 3, 5, 7, 9 and 11. Please try not getting means make a point question. We will solve that also. Now today 